what do you think are the things that a taxpayer has to be ready with uh, to have a smooth filing uh, experience? Uh, taxpayers, as you are aware, uh, this is a very crucial time for the department where they are filing the returns. Uh, I would like to inform all the taxpayers uh, through this uh, uh, recording that the new e-filing portal, the address is www.incometax.gov.in. So this is the website that they need to go to. The first prerequisite obviously is if they are not yet registered, then uh, they have to register themselves. The user ID is their PAN number and then they can select their uh, uh, password. The crucial thing to note is that if, uh, if they were already registered in the old portal, the old password will continue to work. Second thing that they should note is that uh, they should have their mobile number and uh, email ID where they can receive the OTP because that is a mandatory requirement for registration and for all communication that they will receive from the department. So it has to be accurate and it, is, it should be something which is there in their position. Uh, the uh, the other, th other thing that they should know is that uh, they can update their profile, their address, their communication address. They can select somebody uh, as a secondary mobile or a secondary con e email ID also can be given if they want of a tax uh, professional they are uh, having or that of a relative uh, whose help they take. Um, third thing is the bank account number. They should uh, make sure that the bank account number that they select uh, should be having the PAN number in the seeded in their bank account so that the refund can be credited to that bank account. So it is a mandatory requirement to have a bank account with PAN. Uh, that for refund direct credit. And the last thing is that they should have linked their uh, Aadhaar with PAN. This is a, a requirement that is there to be quoted on the income tax return. The Aadhaar number has to be quoted. And uh, the other thing that they note is that if uh, the Aadhaar number has a mobile number uh, linked, then he can they can also receive an Aadhaar OTP. And if you have the Aadhaar OTP, you can also verify, e do an e-verification of the return very easily. So these are some of the prerequisites I would think that uh, taxpayers should know, know about. Okay. Uh, sir, like you had advised that uh, uh, the taxpayers are expected to link their PAN with Aadhaar. Uh, can you just give a, uh, a, a little bit of uh, direction on how that's done and uh, what's the utility of that? So, uh, if the taxpayer has already not linked their Aadhaar with PAN, it's a fairly simple process. You can go online uh, on the home page on the left side. There is a quick link. You have to give the PAN. Pa you have, if it is not, you are not logged in. You have to give the PAN number. You have to give the Aadhaar number. And what is crucial to note is that the name as per Aadhaar and name as per PAN number should match. Uh, the date of birth should be the same in the PAN database as well as the UIDI database and the gender should be the same. If these three, three conditions are met, then the PAN will be linked to the Aadhaar. Uh, as I already said, if, uh, if the Aadhaar is linked, uh, if the taxpayer has got a Aadhaar linked mobile number, then he can also receive OTP on uh, the Aadhaar right. uh, for e-verification. Right, sir. So there's one question that we often receive that uh, for, for, for the purposes of validation, uh, can a taxpayer give uh, a number that is registered outside India, uh, a foreign number? Yeah, in a very few cases, particularly in the case of non-resident uh, uh, Indians and non-resident foreign citizens, uh, they, they are living outside the country, but they may have to file the return of income. Right. In such cases, the foreign mobile number is also uh, available uh, on the profile to be entered. And uh, we have the capability to send an SMS to the foreign mobile number. However, they cannot use this because Aadhaar, they, even if they have an Aadhaar, uh, because Aadhaar is not linked to a foreign mobile number, they will not be able to receive any OTP on their Aadhaar uh, registered mobile. But yes, uh, the foreign mobile can be registered on the site. Okay. So we get a lot of questions about instant PAN. So how do you think, uh, how is it useful or uh, how does it really work? So, uh, um, Subhash, uh, Earlier, uh, there was to be the facility for paper-based application for uh, application of PAN. So you have to file a paper application. 
Now we have introduced an online facility on the e-filing portal. Once you're on the home page, on the left side, uh, there is a facility to generate an instant PAN. The only prerequisite for that, that is that the taxpayer must have a valid Aadhaar and he must have a uh, mobile number registered on UIDI. Uh, uh, one on clicking this uh, online facility, he has to give the his name. The name should match uh, with that of the uh, uh, PAN database. It will go into the PAN database. And then he can apply for uh, 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 PAN number. And then we use uh, the OTP that is coming on the uh, mobile of the uh, taxpayer is used to authenticate and we pull the data from UIDI uh, about the taxpayer's name, his date of birth, his gender and all the other particulars and on that basis we allot a PAN to him. So till date we have already allotted about 31 lakh uh, instant PAN uh, to taxpayers and this, uh, this is a facility which is available free of cost. Okay. Uh, sir, and then uh, this one another uh, important thing that uh, uh, it's a, it's an yearly process filing of returns. So, uh, forgetting someone's password is something that happens very common. So, uh, what is the procedure to be followed to retrieve the password in such a case? Uh, so, uh, it is a, because the typically income tax filing is an annual process. Not many taxpayers uh, frequently visit the income tax website. So, and also in many cases. Uh, they may have relied on a friend or a relative for filing and they may have misplaced their password. So this is where the importance of having a proper email ID and a mobile number uh, is important because if those two are uh, something that is uh, used, uh, frequently used by the taxpayer, he can simply reset his password by using uh, OTP on his uh, mobile number and on his email ID. Bo if he enters both the OTPs, he can reset the password. In case he has not used uh, the mobile number or it is that of a professional or somebody else and he has he's not using that mobile number, but if he has linked his uh, PAN and Aadhaar and the Aadhaar has a mobile number, he can use Aadhaar OTP to also re reset his password. Uh, the other uh, methods that are available are lo direct login through net banking. So we have uh, integrations with net banking for 18 banks you can log into your bank account and then from bank account typically all the taxpayers will have a tax center or something on the internet banking site. There there will be a link called uh, 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 either e-file return or go to e-filing portal or something like that. If you click on that it will directly uh, take you to the e-filing portal post login. So okay. you are already logged in and this is a kind of a handshake between the bank and the, and the department. So once uh, he is already logged in, he can go and reset his password. So this is another way in which uh, resetting of password is permitted. Then uh, there are for, for non-individuals like companies and all that, if they have already have their registered uh, digital signature certificate, then they can use uh, that registered DSE to also reset their password. Right. If all these uh, options are failing, then they have to um, either file a grievance on the portal uh, saying giving their attached document whatever is required or they can send us an email on efilingwebmanager at incometax.gov.in giving all their original uh, details like your PAN card copy and things like that uh, using which we will uh, reset the password. But that is the last option. There are a lot of self-service options that people are able to use. Right. Uh, uh, sir, so the department has uh, brought in a lot of technology in uh, the procedure of e-filing and all of that. So. Uh, in case of super seniors uh, who may not be comfortable with technology, uh, is there any way in which they can probably file their returns uh, in a more comfortable way? Yeah, so uh, Subhash, uh, what I would like to um, mention here that super senior citizens who are uh, 80 years and above, the government has provided them the flexibility uh, if they have to report income in ITR 1 or ITR 4, which is your basic uh, return. That can be filed using paper, uh, that is what can be filed with the jurisdictional assessing officer in a paper format. Uh, but over the years what we have seen is that most of the super senior, citizen, the senior citizens also prefer to file electronically okay. because the entire processing and all that becomes very fast. We do not have too many paper returns that we receive uh, in the department anymore. Okay.
दोस्तों ये मेरी सात किताब है जो कि Amazon.com पर पब्लिश है आप इसे डाउनलोड करके पढ़ सकते हैं इन किताबों के लिंक्स इस वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए हुए हैं इन सात किताबों में से पांच किताब मनी मैनेजमेंट पर है यानी पैसा निवेश करके अधिक पैसा कैसे कमाएं पर आधारित है 